Today I'm going to be showing you guys the slide in montage overlay effect that's been used in the brand new Ice Spice music video. This effect is so fire and I really think you guys can take the information from making this and really create your own stuff with it. Let's hop right into this thing. So this is the effect here that you guys saw at the beginning. Super clean. I love how the smoke overlays into the one on top. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do that as well. All right, so now that we have our three clips in here, we have to figure out the way of how we're going to split it into three different areas. So if we go up into our sequence here and hit sequence settings, we can see the frame size is 1440 by 1080 here. Now you want to remember the 1440, but you want to divide the vertical, which is the height here, divided by three. So we get three different sections of the height. So if you take 1080 and you divide it by three, I did the math, it equals 360. So what you want to do next is you want to right click on one of these images here, go over to nest and then hit OK. And you want to double click on that nest and inside of here you want to go up to sequence hit sequence settings and you want to change that 1080 to 360 here and then hit okay now you have full control in effect controls to bring it and organize it however you want and if we go into the original composition you guys could see boom it's a third of that just like so so we're going to do that to each one of these all right and now that we have all three of them as you can see here nested and to size what we're going to do is we're going to drag the car ones on the top and on the bottom just like this and then drag this one on the bottom here and boom you guys can see we have this looking super clean i only want this to last a few seconds so i'm just going to cut it off here and now what we could do is have them animate in so you guys could see the way they come in is the middle one comes in then the side one then that one so we're going to have the middle one right here coming from the left so to do that we're going to go up to effects we're going to type transform and let's drag and drop transform under distort on then go over to effect controls here and what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the position and then we're going to move it all the way out to the side and then we're going to go over around two frames reset it so if we play it through we get a really quick in just like that but to give it motion blur like that effect that this one has here all you have to do is go and turn off use composition shutter angle and then turn the shutter angle up like this and then what i recommend doing is just moving the keyframe over a few frames until you get something that you like so we're gonna go with that there looking good and now they have the bottom one coming from the right there so we're gonna do that next click on the bottom one go over to effects drag and drop on transform we're gonna turn this off turn the shutter angle to 133 and then we're gonna hit our position and then we're gonna move it to the right and then we're gonna go over about like that many frames and then move it in and you guys can see just like that we get an effect and then all we have to do now is just copy from the original one press ctrl c press ctrl alt v and paste the transform onto the top one here so it's going to come in at the exact same time which we don't want so we're going to go ahead click on these and drag them to about there and we get something just like that it looks super clean now if you're wondering the smoke effect how do we add that well, we're going to go over to our good old pal YouTube here, and we're going to type smoke overlay inside of YouTube. So we're going to go with this 19 minute one here. We're going to go and copy this, and we're going to paste it to a YouTube to MP4 downloader. I already have one on my computer here. We're just going to hit download the video. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to bring it inside of Premiere Pro here, double click on it, and then we're going to go to a good part, which is probably like right here. And we're going to highlight that and bring it in. Now, as you guys can see, it has a black background. We're going to go over to effect controls. Go to blend mode and we're going to change this to screen here and you guys can see the, bl the black background instantly disappears and what we're going to do next is we're going to line it up so it fits with our cigarette just like so and then we can go inside of the lumetri color and turn up the exposure if we want and then mess with these to change the color of it to whatever we'd like turn the saturation all the way down once we've cropped it to our footage what we're going to do next is we're going to copy the transform from this cigarette one here and we're going to paste it on this one here and it's going to slide in with it and then all we have to do next is just click on it hit scale and position and then just make sure the motion of it follows the cigarette itself then we get something just like this you can make it a little bit smoother inside of after effects and hopefully she doesn't move at the end of yours this is the only good one i could find if she doesn't move it'll look something just like that as you guys can see there super clean or if you shoot it yourself you could just have smoke over a black background but this is as close as we're gonna get i think it works really well too and you could add little clicking sound effects if you guys want as well but that is it for this tutorial if you guys enjoyed this make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well i'll see you guys in the next video peace